friends And I don't want your sad blue eyes You know everything about me Like I need my territory So why are you still so needy? You're in over your head Phone is ringing Always at a bad time Every time you flash your name Always leaving Then you got me chasing you Like I'm the one to blame Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing Organize the Clutter episode 3 of my kitchen. This is the very last episode of the kitchen. There are going to be like more episodes throughout the house. Um, but as of right now, this is the very last episode that we will be filming up my kitchen for my kitchen doing whatever for my kitchen this is the last one and I'm super excited because then the kitchen is completely finished and already it looks super good but we are just finishing everything else there is a lot we will be finishing so we will be finishing the island right here that you guys are on and we will also be finishing up the sink right here this cupboard is like the corner cupboard and these ones right here and we will also be putting some things in the baking one above the microwave but that will just be very minimal but everything else we have a lot to do today and you guys will be blown away with how much is on my counter it's not as much as like that was in the pantry that was on my counter but there is a lot and so there is just so much we are doing um and I hope you really do enjoy this one. You guys honestly seem to really enjoy episode two of the Organize the Clutter series. Um, that one is almost at 400 views, which is crazy. And it might be when this video is out, um, which is just crazy. Thank you guys. That is like, that's a high number for me. So it means a lot, but I hope you all enjoy this one and then after the kitchen after this episode to so the one that you will be seeing in june that will be the laundry room and that one is going to be crazy we are giving the laundry room a whole makeover and it's just going to be amazing then after the laundry room we are going to move up to closets and then probably like the basement and everything like that so there are going to be a lot more episodes um so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed today's video, but I am going to hurry and give you guys a little quick haul and just tell you where I'm planning on putting stuff, how I'm going to plan on doing this and really showing you the cupboards and how they look before and after. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you get lots of motivation. And if you are new here, hello, welcome to my channel. This is my new series that I started a couple of months ago um, here on my channel. And I am just organizing our clutter and decluttering and just really making it look more minimalistic and more organized and put together so if you are interested in that and want to see more subscribe to my channel I would love to have you and welcome you and also follow my Instagram our little bloom if you want to see some other things over there I do lots of sneak peeks on my feed and then I also do stories when we're out and about and of my son and sensory and just so much more. I always post my food. Um, a lot of my food I do create myself. So if you are interested in seeing all of that fun stuff, go check out my Instagram, Our Little Bloom, and also subscribe to my channel here so you can get two different kind of things on both of my platforms. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump into all of this. It changed in a matter so I am just starting with the corner cabinet and just emptying it out it was 
crazy how much was in this corner cabinet and how much could fit in it in like all of the different shelves is just crazy there was so much behind all of like the front items there was just so much clutter in there so i'm super happy i went through it and decluttered it and put a lot of things downstairs threw a lot of items away and i am going to sell a lot of items as well so there was just a lot but i'm happy we got done with the corner cabinet i'm happy with how minimal it looks and it just looks so much more organized it's way easier to get to items now Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of nervous putting my hands in these dark cabinets, like in these dark spaces and cleaning inside. I did not know what kind of bugs or dead bugs were in these dark places. So it was really nerve wracking cleaning the inside of like these little um, shelf cabinets, you know, it was just really scary. I'm really afraid of bugs. So I was really scared. <laughs> Now that it is all clean, I'm putting like the big glass bowls and like the metal bowls up where the baking items are which fit perfectly. They honestly work really well. And then for the corner cabinet on the bottom shelf I have my blender. I use it a lot so that just made sense. In the middle there is like the strainer and the cheese grater and then on top there is like the giant metallic bowl. Um, we never really use that so and it's huge so it just fit best on the top but I love how it ended up turning out and it looks so I think it looks so much better before like well after the before you know it looks so much better now I am just starting on um, the island cabinets and doing our utensils And I know there is no 
to just do it I wanted to give every little item a new home and just make it look better make it look more organized and clean and then also put some like grip mat on the bottom so it doesn't move around like the drawer and the bamboo drawer doesn't move around it just sticks in one spot like one space um before it used to slide up and down now it just stays down which is really nice because it, everything doesn't move now and it's not really irritating or frustrating so i just think it looks much better and it looks more organized and put together going to start organizing the cooking utensils that is just one drawer underneath um, the eating utensils and this was a mess as you guys can see right here it was just a complete disaster I had to go through it toss a lot of items that were just crusty and gross there was really no point to sell them or donate them so I just tossed them and then I just start organizing and going through what I do want to keep and um, organize. I'm always one step behind, wishing I could read your mind, but I'm ready. Yeah, never ready. Uh, I wish I could have made it stop. The first time that you stood me up, I wasn't ready. Yeah, never ready. Like a forbidden fruit, I'm still craving for. I'm still wanting more. Yeah, I know just what to do, but still I want all of you. Oh, please give me. Also laying down some grip mat so this one doesn't slide around either and I think it looks better but it still doesn't look that organized it looks more organized than it was um, but it doesn't look as organized as I really wanted it to look it's kind of hard with cooking utensils to like really organize it and make it look good and make them all fit especially if you have a lot like I do um, but let me know down below, how do you organize all of your cooking utensils? the third drawer so this drawer used to have like random sticks and items and as well as like um dish rags and oven mitts and just other things like there's straws there and there's just a lot of random items in this drawer 
So I am super happy with how this one turned out. I ended up turning it into Lucas's drawer. So all of his bibs, his utensils, his cups, his tumblers, his plates, his bowls, um, other things that are his are in there. Um, he has straws that are in there. So there is just a lot of items that are his um, that are organized in there. So if he wants to get a cup and I fill up with water, he can do that. He can pick out his cup, he can pick out his plate when it's time to eat breakfast or lunch or dinner. It's just very easy for him because he can reach his own items now and it's just way more organized. So I'm super happy with this one and how this one turned out. I'm in love with it and when we end up moving, I am for sure going to do something like this in our house. So now we are on to the last drawer and this one just had everything in it. So there were plastic bags, there was tin foil, garbage bags, um, parchment paper, wax paper, just anything that you could think of in this drawer and it was all there. So what I did is I just cleaned it out and made it for the rags and the oven mitts and everything else that we used for um like hot plates and stuff the sun is coming up are you ready to go we can take a ride we can take it slow your will is my law i'ma let you be the boss cause i'll go with you go i'll take you to a place we can see it all step off the edge i can break your fall your will is my law i'ma let you be the boss cause i'll And again, using the same grip mat. I actually really like using that grip mat. I think it looks way better when you open up the drawer or the cabinet and you see that because it's not just like white and dirty because um, there's stains on some of our stuff. So I think it looks super good. And I'm also happy with how minimal it looks in those baskets. Um, like they are pretty big baskets, but they look really good and um, they just make it look really minimalistic. Kings of the world And anywhere it's home found We are kings of the world And tonight it's our big world so now we are on to this junk drawer. Uh, we had three junk drawers, which is crazy. Um, this one just had so much clutter and so much just random items in it. 
Um, so I ended up turning this drawer into our coffee, tea, and wine drawer. Um, it works perfect because it's right by the coffee pot, so I thought that was just perfect. And it just looked minimalistic. It just turned out really good. Um, but yeah, I'm just decluttering it and throwing so much away because there's just so much clutter. This drawer was a little harder to organize and put things where I wanted them just because there we don't really have that much coffee or tea items. Um, I sometimes get like cold brew in those little pods. We have matcha, we have some tea, um, but all of our coffee is ground and it's right by our coffee pot. So it was just kind of hard to organize it and get it to how I liked it but I still think it looks really good and there's so much that can fit in this drawer later in the future if we do change to pods so I just think it looks much better Now we are 
going to start on working um, on the two other junk drawers. So we're starting the one that is closest to the trash and then we are going to move into the middle one and they are both junk drawers and there was a lot of junk. <laughs> just like the other one so I am just going through it and throwing away a lot a lot of items though I did set to the side for my mom to go through because they were just papers and instructions and everything like that so I just love those for her because this is not any of my stuff in this junk drawer I do not provide junk <laughs> so yeah I just cleaned it for her but then I let her go through everything else very happy with how this turned out to me this is how a junk drawer is supposed to look it's not even a junk drawer now it's like a a utilities kind of drawer where it has like everything you need for if there's an emergency or you need bolts or screws or tools anything like that tape um, a ruler other things I just think that this drawer is now for like utility items and I think it looks much better than it did before I'm super happy with how everything turned out in this drawer and the next drawer that was also a junk drawer how it all looks is like super good finally getting to all of that trash that was over where the coffee pot is that took me a while to get to to throw everything away so I finally threw it all away um, now I am just going through this cabinet over here that's underneath the coffee and tea and wine drawer now um, and just organizing like our pretty dish plates and our cooking dish plates um, I want to separate them so that this drawer is just for like all the pretty bowls and plates and um, utensils that we usually use when there is like a special occasion or I've used a lot of them like in my videos like just pretty much when we want a pretty fancy plate or bowl it's closer than you know I'm really trying to keep it cool now don't you see that you're a fool oh, it's time to open your eyes and let go Got a lot of exes, but none of them know you better The stories you've heard could be you and I Hey, let me explain, get to the reason why it's not us You know there's no one else than me you trust You know it's truth deep inside Won't you let it go? And again, I am super happy with how this um, cabinet turned out. It looks much more minimal and organized, and I'm just super happy with how it turned out. Now I am working on 
underneath the sink. This was a project. This one took a while because it was just super disgusting underneath the sink and there was just a lot of random items underneath the sink. A lot of things that could go outside or in the garage, mostly in the garage and outside, but there was just a lot of items that I really had to go through um, and clean up and wipe down. There was just a lot, but I'm super happy with how the underneath the sink turned out. Again, it is super organized and minimal and decluttered and everything that I did in this episode, I am just super, super happy with. I loved all of these three episodes so far that I have done all in the kitchen and I am just super happy with how I have done everything and how everything turned out. I am honestly blown away because this is like my first time ever really taking on these huge projects, especially when it comes to like redoing kitchens and everything like that, just like organizing, but I am super happy with how everything turned out. Also, I just want to say that you have now, if you are still here or whoever is still here, if you made it this far, you are officially halfway through this video. This video is a long one. It is an hour long, so you have officially made it halfway. Good job, thank you so much. If you have made it halfway, leave me down one yellow heart and I will respond to you and tell you how much I appreciate you because that just makes me so happy. So leave me down one yellow heart if you made it halfway through this video. I'm sick and tired of seeing you in pain. Your head's in a haze. Won't you lean on me? I catch you if you fall. So take also, a leap. just so you know, um, I will try to find all of the items that I have in this video and leave them down in the description so you can check them out if you are interested in it, in any of them. And most of all these products I got at Target. Some of them I might have gotten off of Amazon, but I know for sure most of them um, came from Target. to work in the last two cupboards one of them is where the pots and pans are and will be and the other ones are like the cans um, where they are and where they will be I am just swapping both spots so it just makes it super easy but right here I just have the rack um, that we did get for our pantry so it matches our pantry racks um, and I filled it up with all like dish soap, hand soap, and multi-service cleaner with some mop cleaner, like floor cleaner, and um, some sponges. And I'm going to put them down in that cupboard, which I think works so perfect. And it will also be with the canned food, jar food, bottles, stuff like that, as well as like cooking dishes. So I think it just turned out super good and I love how organized it all looks. <laughs> clean the inside the top shelf was not as bad as the bottom shelf the bottom shelf was way worse because that's where like the toaster was and the toaster always leaves crumbs so I did have to vacuum the bottom i 
I just put it how I would like it to be underneath there before I actually filled it up with jars and bottles and um, cans. So that is just what I did. And now I am just putting these things together. This will be holding like all of the bags, the tin foil, the parchment paper, everything like that. Um, and I also organized all of the Tupperware. So everything that is going in where the cans were um, will be already prepped for me. Not prepped, but already made for me. So all I have to do is just move them. Um, and now I am just taking out all the cans and the bottles and the jars. Going through them, I'm going to look at the expert dates and I'm also going to look at things that are used that we are just going to throw away or donate um, as well as like um, some food items that are almost to expiration date or already expired um, I'm going to see if I can donate some of those the ones that are expired unfortunately I won't be able to but the ones that are getting close I probably can donate so I'm going to look into some things and see what I can do just organize it into jars bottles and cans two separate um, uh, baskets <laughs> I forgot that name baskets for cans and I only put two of each like two tomato paste um, two corn two green beans two peas and carrots stuff like that and only fit two of and the rest will go downstairs just so it's not overflowing and we can use what we have up here first and then we can just start restocking it so that we can start using more food but not having it too much for the lazy susan the lazy susan like these those two spots were like the parts that i were dreading because i knew it was going to be a long process i'm so happy i went through with it and got it all done that day but it was just so much work i could not believe how much i was doing and how much work i was putting into this but i'm super happy with how everything turns out well, turned out, <laughs> and I'm super happy to be sharing these episodes with you. It all turned out amazing. I'm super happy with everything and how, again, how it all turned out is just amazing. Um, but I am just cleaning out the Lazy Susan because it was just super gross, super oily because that's where we left some oils, and it was just gross. But I'm putting like the toaster, um, the water steamer kettle in there as well as like all of the tin foil plastic bags other things are going on the bottom and as well as um some um tupperware i'm like forgetting words words are always hard for me <laughs> um so i'm just putting those on the bottom and then what's going on the top are like pots pans pan and pot lids um as well as I'm not sure what else I put up there, but 
I don't honestly think that's only pots and pans that I put up there. And I just love how everything turned out. It looks minimal again and organized. That took me forever. So I think I started at like 10.33 or 30 something, 34 maybe, or even 10. I'm not sure when I started. Um, all I know is I had like a late start. Um, but now it is 4.30 and I am just now finishing. I did slack <laughs> a few times because I really did not want to get anything done. I did not want to do this. Um, especially this one this episode has the most um i know that the first episode was pretty crazy too because of the pantry um the fridge wasn't too bad but the pantry was really bad so i know that the first episode was bad um but it didn't wasn't like this one and then the second episode was really quick that one we got through super fast there wasn't too much to declutter and there wasn't too much to do like there was only like a few cabinets um this one had like the whole island as well as like up there this and my sink under my sink so this one was crazy I got a lot done <laughs> but now the house is a mess I have to take all this stuff down to the basement and as well as these cans I will show you in a second what everything looks like now um, that I have like everything out and what I'm taking downstairs what I need to go through what is going in our yard sale I will be doing a yard sale um, in June um, with all of our stuff in our storage and all this stuff in the kitchen my mom is doing a yard sale as well with all of her stuff so that will be really nice to just get rid of all this stuff there is so much that I need to go through um, a lot of the stuff that came from our apartment like our cups and our plates and our bowls and silverware and so much more um, we have a desk um, we are going to put in the yard sale there's no reason to hold on to it for a house that we want <laughs> to get in the future. Um, we would rather just deal with buying everything brand new again or use Facebook Marketplace or thrift store, anything like that. We are fine to do, but I think it's time to part ways with this stuff. I did buy this stuff when we were super, super poor. It was three years ago, two years ago. Um, some things are hand-me-down, so I will be keeping like our couch and our table, um, our bed, everything that is in our room right now, we will be keeping, but everything like pretty much in the storage except for baby stuff and um, like wine glasses, stuff like that, we will keep. Um, but there's just going to be so much 
from that yard sale that we are going to make and just so much that we are going to get rid of. Um, we do have big plans for the future. Um, so yes, I'm not going to show them right now because right now it's just, it's a beginning. Um, and we don't know if it's even gonna happen. We are going to push it and try to make it our goal and try to make it happen for our big move. Um, and hopefully this year. And if it is this year, I'll take you along. If it is next year, I'll take you guys along with it. But it is going to be a big thing in the future for my little family. And we are just super excited. So doing a yard sale is part of that. We really need to get rid of as much as we can so we can start fresh and yeah. So that will be in the future that I will be explaining to you guys if it actually goes down a really big great hole and if things really go well and things actually happen the way we want. So that will be another video another time in the future that you guys will listen to and hear and it's super exciting. We are super excited for the future and we are really looking forward to it and expanding our family. Um, but for right now. I'm going to take you around my kitchen and show you all the messes and everything that has to go downstairs, stuff that is going in the trash or already has gone in the trash and stuff that is going in the yard cell. So come along with me and I hope you have enjoyed this video so far. There was so much we got done, but I'm going to hurry and take you around my kitchen and I'll talk to you guys when I get back. Okay, starting behind me, <laughs> this is actually, I should have got this stuff too, um, which I will do right now, just so we can hurry and get it out of the way. Okay, so starting right here, this is everything that's going in the trash. I'm going to see if I can like donate this food because it's not all expired as of right now. It's just super close to being expired. Like this is May 2021. Um, this one is December. This one is expired. Um, and this one's like in June and yeah. So this stuff is going to go away. Um, over here this okay so there's my vacuum um this we're probably just gonna throw away it's really old and gross um right here this is stuff that's going downstairs um so i need to put it down in the basement right here this is also food that's going down in the storage in the basement as well as the organizer and my little cold foam or hot foam maker um and same with these other storage items will be going downstairs and I need to see what my mom wants to do with this. I don't know what it is, so that is all her. And then over here, this is my stuff that we are taking to storage. This is like Lucas's baby stuff, but we are planning on having more kids in the future, so I want to keep all of this for my kids in the future. This is stuff that my mom needs to go through and this is all of her stuff. <laughs> that is going downstairs or she's throwing away I'm not sure there's this I have no idea what this is it might be a steamer I really yeah it's a steam but I don't even know if she'll want it so that's hers <laughs> and same with all of this stuff um this stuff will like go in the basement um where storage is and this is all like gardening stuff that goes outside or in the garage or with animal stuff or whatever so this is all hers that's mine that i'm taking to storage and all of this stuff will also be going downstairs <laughs> okay now we are back um if you guys want, <laughs> I will take you around, open up every cabinet now in the kitchen because the kitchen is fully done and I am just so happy about it. I am so happy. Once it's like actually like cleared out and everything is downstairs and everything's put away, I will feel much better right now. It still feels like a complete chaos and like a mess and it's just too much. But I will take you around and I'll just show you the, like, you will see the befores and after if you already haven't, I'm not sure. But 
you will see them if you haven't. And right now, you will be seeing like the whole kitchen, which is super fun. And then I'll get back on and talk to you again because I just have so much to say and the kitchen is done and I'm just super happy about it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with the pantry. You guys have already saw the pantry, but you know, it's still beautiful. It's st still staying organized and clean. So there's like paper towels and it just looks like this super beautiful and clean and organized and labeled there is the pantry then over here here is the fridge the fridge looks crazy because like the meal prepping but it's still staying organized and clean and pretty then right here is our spice cabinet still beautiful and where our scentsies are. Down here is where our cutting boards are, our strainers, and our pan sheets. Up here is our baking stuff, brown sugar, sugar, and our bowls. And then right here, oh, that's not organized. <laughs> right here is like the blender, the um, grater, strainer, and then another bowl. And right here, you already saw this pots and pans and then like other things and toaster and containers and then my um, water steamer. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> right here, there, this is kind of a mess. But yeah, this actually doesn't go here. This goes right here. Hold on, I gotta put you guys down. Okay, I put it back. <laughs> Now right here is like our coffee stuff, um, there's like teas and these things and filters and other things. This goes to like wines but I put them in here too. And down here are like our pretty and fancy bowls and plates for like um, when guests come or summer, spring, I don't know. There's pretty. Then right here is underneath the sink and that is our compost where our washer cleaner goes and then all of the chemicals and like cleaners and then now we are on to the island here are our utensils and other utensils for like cooking and stuff yes there are so many it still looks rough but it looks better than it did before and then here are Lucas's plates, bowls, utensils, bibs, and sippies, tumblers, everything like that. And down here are like oven mitts and rags and then table runner. And this one is just kind of like a free one. So there's like instant pot stuff as well as the scale. And one of these that goes to like one of the racks, but we don't need this one. So it's just an extra. And then our junk drawer, which now we only have one instead of three. We used to have three junk drawers. <laughs> now we just have one. And so there's like batteries, these things that go into like the ceiling, um, and the scissors, screwdrivers, stuff like that. And there's some highlighters, lights, Gorilla Glue, tape. That looks nice. <laughs> and then down here, we have our like cooking pot things I'm not sure what they're called pans um, that go in the oven and then some extra cleaner so there's like hand soap dish soap and multi-surface cleaner with mop cleaner and sponges and then there's like bottles cans jars and cans again that's just what this looks like and for like the rest of the kitchen this is not going to be organized but this is like where our wine stuff is you can't see it <laughs> but like our wine glasses are up in here over here are like our cups and mugs and right here are like our bowls and plates so that's how everything looks in the kitchen now okay friends well that was a lot i had to squat and kneel and bend and put things away and talk and it was a lot. <laughs> I am for sure out of breath and I am for sure sweating. 
Um, but I still have to put stuff downstairs and figure out this stuff right here. But I hope you enjoyed these three episodes of this Organize the Clutter series. The series is not done. There will be a fourth episode and a fifth episode and a sixth episode and so many episodes. I'm not sure how many. But um, next episode will be our laundry room, like I said in the beginning. And that one is going to blow your mind. I am super excited about that one. We have not done it yet. But my envision is here and I can just see it. It's gonna be beautiful. We are using yellow and brown and white and it's, it's going to be fun. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you enjoyed this third episode of the Cl Organize the Clutter series. Words are hard sometimes and today they have been really hard. <laughs> but I'm gonna put everything away and figure out downstairs because downstairs is going to be like five episodes. Our basement is literally going to be so many episodes. It's not like okay. <laughs> it's not okay at all. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new here and you enjoyed today's video. I really hope you did. And also follow my Instagram, Our Little Bloom, like I said in the beginning. I do lots of cute videos and stories and posts and reels over there. It's fun. So every single time I do one of these, I wish that I like did a before and after reel so I could post it, but I didn't. I only have the afters now. <laughs> But you guys saw the befores and afters, so feel, feel special. <laughs> Words are hard, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, got lots of motivation. I hope you cleaned and decluttered and organized with me, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you.